In this tutorial, we'll explore how to use ChatGPT for writing code in Visual Studio Code, VS Code, a free coding editor. AI is shaping the future of coding, so I invite you to join our AI for Code community, where you can connect with other AI developers, link in the description. Generative AI, like ChatGPT, predicts the next word based on massive amounts of code it was trained on. This enables it to understand and explain code, optimizing it for us. Let's get started with the tutorial. First, open your existing Python project in VS Code. Click File, Open Folder, and select your project's folder. Next, install the ChatGPT Genie AI extension by going to Extensions, searching for it, and clicking Install. La 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 la. It's going to take some time. Okay, sorry about that. Looks like it's installed. Let's take a look at this extension's capabilities. I'm going to focus only on items that are relevant to this tutorial. Let's see. You can use this chat GPT extension in Problems window to explain and suggest fixes for compile time errors. Hmm, that's nice. You can see the difference between your code and GPT suggestion right within the editor with one click. Also, you can create files or fix your code with one click or with keyboard shortcuts. I really like that feature. It will save time rewriting faulty code. And finally, you can use GPT-4, GPT-3.5, GPT-3, or Codex models via your OpenAI API key. Speaking of which, we need to add our GPT-4 API key to start writing code with this extension. Scroll down to where it says, get your API key from here, and click on OpenAI link to open your OpenAI dashboard. If you don't see your API key dashboard, click on your username in upper right corner and select OpenAI keys option. Now click on Create New Secret Key button to generate your GPT-4 key. Any name is good, but for this tutorial, I'll name my key using GPT for writing code. Please note, OpenAI will only show you this key once, right now. So it's a good idea to save it some other place. I'll copy and paste my key to Notepad. Okay, we're going to need it in the next step. To use ChatGPT for writing code, or as in this example, to explain the code, use the mouse cursor to highlight the code right-click on the code you just selected, and find ChatGPT Genie AI options to explain or optimize code. Here I am going to click on Explain the Code option. If you're using ChatGPT Genie AI extension for the first time, you will see this drop-down box saying please enter your OpenAI key. Remember how I saved it earlier in my notepad? Well, it's time to copy and paste it into this input. Remember, every time you use ChatGPT for coding, it will deduct tokens from your OpenAI account. Usually it's not much, maybe as little as one to five cents, but it's a good idea to keep an eye on your balance. On the left-hand side, you will see GPT-4 explaining what the code means. This is a great way to learn how to code, especially if you're just getting started with learning languages like Python or JavaScript. Of course, it will work for others like Java, TypeScript, or even React. ChatGPT has a large set of knowledge to help you write and learn how to code. Good luck out there. Oh, and one more thing. If you're still watching this tutorial, please join our AI coding community. Link is in the description of this video. It's basically just a place to meet other developers, ask questions, and help each other out.